Hi there, today I want to take a quick look at the extract effect under the keying menu in After Effects and I believe it's in Premiere as well. Uh, it's a really useful effect where I need to key out portions of an image or source video to combine images or in this case integrate text into an existing piece of footage. So to make a start on this in After Effects I'm going to double click my project window, choose my piece of footage and bring it into my project. I'll then just drag it down onto the new composition icon and we have a new composition based on the size and frame rate of my imported footage. The next job is to create our text, so we'll go new text, type in some text and we'll bring up our title safe areas and just place the text in the top left portion so it's safe and nicely balanced there. So our task is to have the tree foliage pass in front of the letters. We can achieve this by duplicating our source video, placing it on top of the text and then keying out the sky. If we go to our effect keying menu we have a few options. Key light seems to be the go-to keying effect but in this case it's not really suitable as we've got a wide range of brighter blue areas to get rid of and you can see our text is still partly obscured in the clouds. Key lights are really geared towards working with blue or green screen footage. So in this case the best approach is to use the extract effect. So we have our top layer here with the extract effect applied. What we're aiming to do is to punch out this sky to reveal those letters and keep the foliage in front. So what I'll do is I'll start decreasing the white point of the extract effect and we can see the letters starting to creep into the image. It's important to check the result of this at different points in the image, as these things can vary over time. But as a first go, that's a pretty good result. Um, what we can do is now solo the layer, and we can see the effectiveness of our mat. What we can see is we've still got a little bit of sky in there, and we're losing quite a lot of foreground detail. Um, and I think we can improve on that by losing all of this and keeping some of those lemons in there. Um, the great thing about the extract effect is that you can base the, the map that's pulled on different kind of channels. Um, and if I was to change this to say the red channel, in fact that looks a lot worse. Um, if I switch it over to green, that's a bit better, we've lost our sky, but still we're losing a lot of this information in the foreground. If I switch it over to blue, now we're just pulling out the blue from the image and preserving all these yellows and we can really see, although we do have a few holes that we can fix in a minute, um, this is a much better result than any of the other options that we've tried. Um, we're really concerned with this fringe that's going to be what we're seeing directly against our text. If I make all of the layers vis visible by undoing that solo layer, um, let's zoom in a bit and have a look how this composite is really working. What we can notice is that we are actually losing quite a lot of leaf detail. We're actually cutting into our leaves. So we need to find a way to bring this information back but without reintroducing the sky too much. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just tweak my white point until we see a lot of those leaves coming back into the frame. But we'll notice we're starting to see our letters erode so let's just pull it back to a point where we've got a, a kind of nice balance between the two, as close as we can. I'll now grab the white softness control, and this allows us to blur the mat. So if we start to increase that, now decrease our white point, we can see that we can actually get quite a nice balance between the two. Okay, I reckon that's looking pretty good. I may just actually decrease my white softness a touch to improve on here and scale, just zoom over to other parts of the image. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some problems occurring in here, so I think for this I'm going to just actually decrease my white point slightly, travel back over, have a look. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good kind of balance between the two. So we can zoom out and have a look at the whole image, if I just fit that to screen. And what I'll do is a quick RAM preview to see how this is looking. Again, it's an interesting result. It sort of has this 3D effect. 
So it's looking good. I think um, for me this text is getting a little bit lost in the clouds. It's white text on a white cloud. It's not particularly clear. So what we could do to try and basically darken the sky to pop the text forward a touch is make a duplicate of our extract matte layer. Um, open up the effect and now what we're going to do is we're going to invert the effect um, and I'm going to drag that below our text layer. Now if we solo that layer we can see that we're effectively we've just got our sky and everything else is hidden. We're really not worried about this stuff down here. In fact we could just grab a mask and place it over there. Um, I might just feather my mask so I'll go down to here, unlink the properties and feather it on the Y just to ensure that we have a smooth transition. Um, and I can now unsolo the layer and we have isolated the sky which allows me to add a blend mode to that layer such as multiply and we can see just our sky is darker. Um, and I now think that's actually a bit strong so I'm going to take the opacity and just pull that back slightly. But if I take that layer on and off we can see that we just enhance the sky slightly to help our text stand out. Another trick that I might do in this case is to, to, to help bring this forward is apply a very subtle drop shadow to the text. Um, I'm a bit wary of drop shadows, they can look really horrid. But um, if we get just bring one up, what we can do is actually sample a colour from the sky for our shadow colour. And this should help to make it really subtle. We can increase the distance and importantly the softness. and actually just take the opacity down. And that's really just helping us to make the text legible. So there we have it, how to use the extract effect in After Effects. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks very much.